professional level, you typically know your competition. You've typically seen a fair bit of them before, but in this, you just have absolutely no idea because the likelihood of you having raced them in the last year is pretty much zero. And um, form from previous year is so tough to tell when there are so many new people coming in. So, uh, Neve, I guess you just have to race your own race. This is it, and I think that's one of the important things about indoor rowing. It's it's you against you. Well, I suppose it's like that in, in a lot of sports, but particularly on the rower, you can only go and give your best on that day. Um, and even if there's someone next to you who you've raced before, or maybe you don't know them, you can still only give what you have that day. So um, it's very much about kind of staying in your own bubble and just trusting yourself and staying in the moment and just giving it your everything. Certainly seems that way. I mean, with only 500 meters get to uh, for only 500 meters in the race, I guess Colleen is just is just a full tilt sprint, giving it everything you've got. Nonetheless, no matter who you're up against. Yeah, you know, Pete, I was just reflecting back on our earlier sort of chat uh, that we had in in the studio about the sort of fun of it all, right? Of of keeping that in mind, and I think these 500 meter sprints, these dashes, can be a perfect place uh, for one to be reminded of exactly that, where um, there is no often plan, as we've mentioned, uh, you, you know, n settling is not part of a 500 meter trajectory. Um, there's just not enough time. Um, and so it can be really, really fun to just see where you shake out. And in particular, as you mentioned, within a group of people that probably, you know, next to nothing about. Um, so it's one of those those moments, I think, where. Um, yes, your fitness, you know, that foundation level of fitness and your ability to sprint are incredibly important, but um, kind of everything's to play. There's nothing to lose. And uh, that's exactly, Neve. I think what's gone on now as we've popped off the start. Yes, exactly. And you called her name a while ago, Colleen. Emma Simpson looks like she's going to move herself up towards the top there as they take off into the first 100 metres. Um, she looks like, I think she's going to move herself into the lead there now. Yes, there she goes. She's down around 128. That is impressive here now. Um, she's just after moving ahead of Ida Nimi of Finland to second and then Sarah Maria Johansson of Denmark in that third position already coming up to that halfway mark we're seeing short sharp sprints or strokes out of these competitors here on the competition floor yeah fast and furious indeed Emma Simpson up at 47 strokes per minute so just outpacing uh, in terms of strokes per minute uh, the rest of, of her competitors, or at least uh, maybe a couple of folks are a little bit higher than her, but she's certainly using that to her advantage. Uh, Leanne Ungaro, another competitor that we saw uh, enter this category last year from Malta, uh, back in the mix as well. So keeping an eye on Leanne. Um, currently, she's got you know a few folks ahead of her, but maybe looking to break into that top 10. And we're already less than 100 meters to go, and it's starting to change up at the top, isn't it? It is for sure. I think Emma Simpson did maybe too much of a sprint there at the start. She's after moving herself down into third position, but still an amazing time of 132.8. That is nearly six seconds quicker than her time last year. So that is a huge improvement um, in the space of the year. But yes, the win and there's lots of smiles happening on the competition floor. It was Ida Nimi of Finland, 131. Um, was her time, Sarah Maria Johansson, then of Denmark, 132.2. And as we mentioned, Emma Simpson of Great Britain, 132.8. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, good to see Ida uh, Nimi of Finland up there, up at the top. Um, I know she's rode in the, the Coastal Championships um, previously, so a very versatile rower here. Fantastic to see her at the indoors um, and making quite a mark uh, with that 131 finishing time. So um, exciting racing overall. The 500-meter sprints are just always a thrill.